Day three just wrapped up a short time ago in the trial of Robert Ferrante. Today, prosecutors focused on packages of the supplement creatine, allegedly found inside Ferrante's lab, along with four bottles of cyanide. Police say that combination killed Ferrante's wife, Dr. Autumn Klein. A computer expert also testified about iPhone and computer data, saying a Google search was performed on how to remove traces of toxins. And tonight, we have learned the jury has not yet been isolated from the public. Pittsburgh's Action News 4 reporter Bokta Imam live at the courthouse. And Bokta, is there any reason why these jurors have yet to be sequestered? Well, right now, Andrew, it's unclear why, and it's up to the judge to decide. But we do know that inadmissible evidence, a large piece of inadmissible evidence, would be a very good reason to trigger jury sequestration. And so far, we haven't seen much of that in this case. Sequestration isolates the jury from the public to help avoid swayed decisions. It can also help prevent threats against jurors. One defense attorney we spoke to says it would be difficult for jurors not to access Twitter and media reports. Take a listen. Are you surprised that the jurors have not been sequestered? I am a little surprised in this case um, just because of the high profile nature of it. However, again, it's just like any other criminal trial, uh, it's a homicide charge. Is it realistic in this day and age with technology, phones at our fingertips, that the jurors are really not seeing anything that's on TV, that's in the papers, that's out in the public? Again, I can't imagine that there's, that the jury is not at least doing some research on some of the medical terms that may have been coming out in testimony. The judge could decide to sequester the jury at any time. Towson says he expects that to happen after closing arguments. Reporting live downtown, I'm Bofta Imam, Pittsburgh's Action News 4. All right.